On Monday, week two of Seahawks training camp got underway. The defense had some big plays, as well as second-year tight end Colby Parkinson with some big plays of his own to make up for some lost time. What's going on? Jackie Montgomery with your Seahawks Daily. So I want to try something new today. Only a small portion of our 12s get to be here live at camp to see what goes down. So I want to give you a peek at some of the big plays that got the crowd pumped up. Former first round pick Demarius Randall competing for a cornerback spot. During seven on seven drills, he picks off Russell Wilson at midfield and takes it all the way back for a pick six. On offense, 2024th round pick Colby Parkinson missed much of last season with an injury, but he's been on fire early in camp. He had multiple touchdowns on the day, including one that he muscles into the end zone with the defender draped all over him. And finally, Russell Wilson with one of his classic deep balls to Tyler Lockett, who gets behind the defense and takes it into the end zone. Following practice, we heard from wide receiver DK Metcalf. He had huge praise for the Seahawks running backs and how they could complement the wide receivers in the Seahawks' new look offense. Alex Collins is going to be a monster. Uh, you know, when he gets his shot, uh, you know, Chris Carson, all the workout videos that we've seen of him, I can't wait to see him touch the field again. Uh, I mean, our running back room is stacked. Um, you know, I, I can't wait until, uh, you know, they step on the field and we, we put it on, uh, on, on film. With the fourth day of Seahawks training camp in the books, the teams will put on pads for the first time on day five. Pete Carroll talked about what he's seen from his team and how his staff evaluates the players during the first few days of camp. You get the feeling for how, how we've returned. You know, did we come back in good shape? Are the guys focused in? Are we able to pick up where we left off in the learning and the teaching uh, process? All of that happened. I mean, our guys are ready to go. Um, they, they were able to install a bunch of stuff like we had done in the offseason, and they're carrying it to the field. There's, I can't tell you that they don't have some, you know, a little cloudiness, but because but, uh, it's new, but we, we've made a lot of progress already. So everything's off to a great start, and, and the fellas' attitude and, and their willingness to compete every time we come on the field has been it, it really just exactly what we're looking for. Carroll also talked about the QB competition behind Russell Wilson and about the new quarterback signed over the weekend, former Rams and Vikings QB Sean Mannion. We saw him in a workout uh, about a week ago, and he looked great. He really threw the heck out of the football. Uh, his background with Shane, that he was with him, um, is obvious. He's really smart, really smart. And Austin would tell you he's been here a day, and he's already running the offense. He could already call the stuff. I don't know how a guy can do that, because the terminology isn't all the same. Conceptually, it's the same, which he just eats up. Um, so we'll see what happens, you know, and just liked him enough. And then with that background, I just I think he's a, it's an interesting guy for us to bring to camp. Uh, I, I think it doesn't have anything to do with Gino right now. And then Gino's doing great. Gino had, has had one day after another, after another, after another. He's really in full flow of the whole thing. Um, but we'll see. You know, if, if we get down to where we need a three, then the competition's really on, and we'll, we'll see how that goes with Alex. Alex, like I told you, I think yesterday, uh, is off, or the other day, it was off to a, a really good start, too. Alex is way ahead of where he's ever been, and so it's just a good competitive situation for us. And finally, one of the new faces on the team, tight end Gerald Everett, told reporters what he's learned about Russell Wilson in the short time he spent with his new QB1. This is work ethic, you know, playing with the Rams for the past four, four years. I mean, you see the plays in the late, late four quarters and, you know, him, Tyler, him, DK hooking up and, you know, just putting them back on top. And it's just, you know, it's frustrating from the other side. But, you know, being here and seeing how he really works up close in person, it's, 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 it's a sight to see. Well, we'll have more on the Seahawks offense as we continue to hear from players and get more clues as to what it will look like out there on the field. In the meantime, I want to hear from you, the 12s, as to what videos you would like to see and watch here from your favorite team. So leave your suggestions in the comments below.